Hey guys, welcome back again. And we're going to be doing a double on this one. Uh, we're going to be going into the mail system. We're going to be using some of the mail plugins, uh, the mail queues, and the mail manager. Uh, for a lot of you guys who are probably new to cPanel and servers in general, uh, you probably don't know much about the mail, uh, the mail protocols, you know, the transfer agents. There's a lot of them. And when dealing with spam and trying to view the queues, see what's who's seeing the spam, see who's seeing emails, uh, it takes a lot of getting used to if you're in the command line. Uh, so for the, a lot of you guys who don't know the command line just yet, you're going to find this one very handy. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the mail queues real quick. Uh, I have no idea how well this is actually going to go because, well, this server is practically, well, basically, yeah, it is empty. So there actually may not even be anything to really show with this. So we'll probably have to put this on a live server. Um, but just to show you real quick, um, I'm just going to go ahead and do an install here. Okay. And I'm going to pop this up at plugins, mail queues. Alright, I've actually got eight mails in the queue. Okay, so anyway, uh, pretty much what this is, is it's giving you a visual interface of being able to uh, look at the mails, send the mails, delete the mails, you know. Uh, typically, if you use the command line, it can get a little confusing because you got all these IDs, you got, I mean, the visual interface is actually pretty nice compared to having to do it with command line, especially if you don't know it. Uh, even us professionals, we typically keep a cheat sheet laying around, especially when we work with XM, because, you know, there's just so many command line options. But anyway, let's just go over this real quick. So we have eight mails and queues. Um, we can choose, oh, let's look at the uh, frozen, the bounced emails, all other emails, um, mails ordered than so long. Um, and let's just click view real quick. So here we go. Uh, this was what I was talking about the ID. It's because you have to actually pull this ID up in XM, type it into command line, and then you can actually view it. So it, it's a little confusing. Uh, so you typically to keep the cheat sheet, but this makes it so much easier to look at the XM queue log. Uh, so here's what we got. We've got, we can view the delivery log. Let's take a look at that real quick. So as we can see, it has not completed. Um, it had an issue, so it's just returned back to the center, uh, sender. So you can actually view the error logs a lot easier here. Um, otherwise, you have to go in through command line, go into var log, xm, and look at the, the logs, and you have to go through them. And it can be very difficult to pinpoint certain ones, like you don't know if it's sent or didn't send at first glance. You have to look through them and get kind of messy. So this interface. It's actually really, really clean. So here we go. We're looking at the actual message. Um, uh, this is probably why, because well, no one's living at test at meow dot cat. So that's obviously why these messages did not go through. Uh, when we set the C panel up, we set it up just for kicks and giggles. So there we go. That's what we know. So we know that's why it's sent. So we just got to track down where that is and fix it. So since uh, we can actually delete this, or we can actually deliver it. So that's pretty much what these are. You can deliver them or delete them. So it's kind of easy. And then we can we can also select. Um, we can send them off to someone. We can just delete them, but we can just go ahead and return. So this gives you the ability to filter out what we want. Maybe we want to look at the frozen ones, the ones that can't be sent yet but have been queued. Maybe we got re bounce back emails. So we can just look at all the other ones. Um, we can also look at the email subject if we want. We can display older. We can also look and see what they contain, begin with, ends with, or equals, and does or does not. You know, we can also choose uh, if it's to, from. So we've got a lot, a lot of options here to be able to view the mail key logs and see what's being sent and what's not being sent. All in all, if you don't like digging through XM and, and the logs or any others, mail logs and they can get very messy especially on a big big server I would say this is actually really really good um, we'll actually probably do another video on this and actually put it on an actual production server uh, we'll just have to see how that goes to make sure we're not actually revealing any emails or personal private information but we'll check that out later but you know you get a pretty good idea what this is uh, you can also do a first run you know frozen emails specific ones then we can actually run the queue so we can just go and 
cycles that queue and send them. But you know the the ones that we have right now, they're not going to send anyway. But you know we just attempted to send them, but did they send? No, they're not going to send because we know they can't send it because no one lives at the test cat house. But anyway, this is using the mail queues. So what we're going to do is we're just going to combine the two mail ones together, and we're going to go ahead and grab the other mail plugin. That was the mail queues. We want to get the mail manage. So we're going to copy this one real quick. Oops, W get. And then we're going to open this one. This is this cmm.tgz and cd into that guy and install him. Okay, let's go back up into the plugins. And uh, let's see, mail, was it mail queues? Nope, it was mail manager, my bad. Okay, here we go. So with mail manage, we have the ability to manage all the email accounts. However, we don't have any in here, so we really can't do anything. But we have the ability to set hourly limits, set the filters, set see who's sending the mail to what other mail accounts you know we can manage the mail accounts but we really have no one to manage so we really don't have any abilities to do here I mean there's just like no mails to manage you know but we can you know do some just take a look at some of the information but we really don't have anything so we're looking to actually running all this again but on an actual production server with a couple thousand websites that we've got but just want to show off that these plugins do exist and as you saw it was probably the most easiest thing to install it was basically a wget extract install and you're up and if you're not really good with command line interface these plugins are really really good I mean you saw these the main stuff so I'd highly recommend you getting them if you're new to using cPanel uh, so that pretty much concludes using the mail stuff and what we're going to do is once we get the uh, licensing from Chirpy we're going to go ahead and start going through all the commercial products. Uh, we personally don't use them uh, because we use a couple of other uh, services that we prefer but for some of you you might actually want to check these out so we're going to go ahead and basically go through them, run through them and show you them in the next videos so make sure you subscribe and keep an eye on us because we are going to be releasing videos like crazy. So that concludes this episode. And if you got questions, you know, let us know. And we'll do our best to help you out. So, night all.